Hi everybody, my name is Melissa Bender and I'm about to take you through my workout of the day. For today's workout, I have my interval timer set for 15 rounds, 10 seconds rest, 50 seconds maximum repetitions of each exercise. I also have the breakdown and the photo tutorial already up on my blog, benderfitness.com, so you can see the full breakdown including two alternate ways that you can do this if you don't want to do um, intervals, although intervals are very effective, so that's the way I'm going today. Um, also, I had to refilm this workout because we had technical difficulties. So my lower body is very tired. I just did a 90 minute ballet class, so I'm going to do my best. I'm going to show you a variation for the pistol squats before we go ahead because I don't even know if my body's going to want to do them today. So I'm going to grab a chair to help with balance. The full pistol squat, your core stays in tight, um, hips are going to shift backwards. We're going to extend both arms in front of us one leg in front of us. Shift those hips backwards, get as low as you can, and then you're gonna push up through your heel to stand. So you're gonna repeat that. You don't have to stay down there, you wanna just go down, push right back up. You can also use a chair to do it to add to the balance aspect of it. So down and up, or you can use it two other ways. Hold the chair, extend that knee behind you, Squat down like you can press your back knee to the ground, back stay straight, and lift. Last option is a sit to stand. So core tight, same um, position, arms and legs are going to reach in front of you. We're gonna push through the heel to stand, and then control lower back down. So when we do the pistol squats, you can choose any of those variations. Um, I think that's it for the modifications we'll need if you guys have questions, you can always post them in the comments and I'll try and get back to you with other modifications if there's a particular move you're having trouble with. <sighs> okay, now that I'm out of breath from talking so much, let's get started with the workout. We have 10 seconds to prep. Our first move is the lunge jump. So our core is gonna be tight, big step with your feet, hips lower straight down toward the ground, and we're gonna just jump straight up in the air and switch. Maximum reps. Keep breathing. Make sure you're lowering into it. Good job, guys. Keep moving. Almost there. Okay, next we have up down dog or dive bombers. Start in your plank position, core tight. Lift the hips, flat back, drop those heels to the ground. We're gonna dive bomb, so chest and nudes, and then up to up dog. Reverse. Max reps, so getting as many as your body is capable of today. It's always a good day, good idea to write it down so you can monitor your progress. Okay, next we have squatting warrior three. Core is gonna be tight. Knees, hips, and thighs are gonna to squeeze together on the squat. So we're going to squat, hips reach back, chest stays lifted, right leg extends, arms reach, and then switch it, other leg. Find that balance. Reach that booty back. Keep 
Keep breathing. Okay, next we have those pistols. I'm gonna grab the chair. I'm gonna try for one or two regular pistols, and then I'm gonna do sit to stands. One. Oh, two. My legs are so tired. Three. Keep going. Use that glute muscle, push through that heel to stand. Same thing on the other side. So I did. Left leg extended. Is that right? Yes. No, I did. Now I'm doing left leg extended. Oh! Oh, this leg is more tired. Oh! Okay. Definitely sit to stands on this side. Try and keep that leg lifted the whole time. So you're really using the standing leg. Keep breathing and reach that booty back for the seat, controlling the downward motion as well as the upward motion. Okay, next we have jumping push-ups. So we're going to Push up from center. Push up. We're gonna jump left. Big jump right. Back to center. Push up. And then I'm gonna go right, left, just to switch up. Keep breathing, find that push-up position, strong plank. And if the push-up ever becomes too intense, you can hold a plank for a second in between. Okay, next we have a side plank drop. So we're gonna go into a side plank position. You can do it on your forearm, elbow below your shoulder, or straight arm, hand and elbow below your shoulder. Top elbow stays pointing to the ceiling. We're gonna drop, tap, lift it high. So try not to rest it down in between if you're able to. If you have to, it's okay. Rest and then lift. And if that's too difficult, hold that side plank. Keep breathing. Same thing on the other side. Top elbow up toward the ceiling. Core tight. Find that balance. You can hold here if you need to. Drop and lift. Press that hip as high to the ceiling as you can. Keep breathing. Keep moving. Keep moving. 
really using those obliques. It's so that love handle area and all the central muscles of your core. Whew. Hopping lunges are next. So we're going to start by taking a big step back. So nice big step back, lower into the lunge, come up, hop, step it forward. Hop, step it back. So we're doing all one leg first. I started with my left leg stepping. So a forward backward lunge with a hop in between. other side so this time my right leg is going to be moving whatever side you didn't just do <sighs> try and keep that core tight big step back lower down hop it up and forward Keep moving. You can go faster if you're able to. My legs are beat. <laughs> I'm going to keep moving, so it's okay. As long as you're challenging yourself. <sighs> okay. Next we have full boat V up. I'm happy to not be working my legs right now. So we get to lay down, arms extend overhead. Core tight, we're gonna roll all the way up, reach toward those toes. And if that's too intense, you can bend the knees into the chest, reach toward your ankles. Stretch it out. Reach back with those fingers when you come down. So you're actively lengthening the abdominals. and then reach it all together. Keep breathing. Next we have scissor abs. So again, we get to stay down. Core is gonna pull in tight, press the belly button toward the floor, shoulder blades lift, arms extend, and we're gonna scissor the legs. So pull them in toward your chest, as close to your chest as you're able to. If you want to use your hands to help, you can, like this. Or you can really try and use those abdominal muscles to pull it in tight. Keep breathing. Keep those legs moving. Good job, guys. Almost there. We have five seconds left. Try to keep those knees straight. Ah, oh, the burn. Okay, next we're gonna do Superman's. So Superman lift. We are going to keep our core tight. <clears throat> Extend the legs, lift the chest, lift the arms, squeeze through the glutes, and lower. And breathe. Try and hold that squeeze for just a second. And really force yourself to engage those muscles. Low back, upper glutes. Keep breathing. Ten seconds left. Oh, 
the last couple seconds. <sighs> okay, next we have plank walks. So we're gonna start in our plank position. And if that's enough for you, you can hold the plank. <sighs> Otherwise, we're gonna increase the intensity, core tight. You're gonna walk your hands forward as much as you're able to hold and then walk it back under the shoulders. Find that strong plank position. Hold. Really forcing those core muscles to work. Less than 10 seconds left. Last exercise, goddess twist. We get to stand for this one. Feet more than hip distance apart. Toes turn out at an angle. Core tight, tuck your tailbone. Keep the knees pressing out. We're going to reach across, using those core muscles, hips stay still, to stretch. Stretch. Try and sink lower into it if you're able to. Using those transverse abs to really pull everything in as you twist. And breathe. Almost there. This is the last exercise. Okay, guys. That's it, that's one round of today's workout. If you're up for it, repeat it. The whole breakdown, how many times I went through it, will be there. Today, I'm only doing it this one time because I already did a long ballet class, so I got in a lot of exercise today. I'm good to go. But um, I did do this workout a few days ago also, so I'll post the, the breakdown with the pictures and everything else on my site, benderfitness.com. Don't forget, click like, if you like the workout and click subscribe if you like getting free workouts. See you guys next time.